Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is another video on body plot, and here we'll be discussing example 14.5, for which a student from Bangladesh has requested. So straight away on the question example 14.5, we have to draw the body plot for this function. The only difference uh, from what we have been uh, solving is that in this case the denominator or the pole is a quadratic function so we, we have to uh, uh, do it slightly differently first of all we convert s into g omega we know that s is equal to g omega so since we have uh, been solving the questions in g omega form we will convert this in to g omega so we replace all the s with g omega so we get this term now we have also learned about what is known as a standard form the standard form is one plus something so in this case it has been divided by z1 or z1 has been taken common so we get this form so in our case uh, our uh, numerator or the zero is same form already one plus uh, uh, one plus g omega we we'll just write, rewrite and in case of a quadratic equation also we have to write it in one plus this form and now in our case it is 100 so we'll first of all uh, rearrange this so we write one first and then g omega similarly 100 first then this and then this now to make the denominator one we have to take common 100 so we take common 100 and now the numerator and denominator are in the standard form now this uh, 100 we can write it as 1 over 100 1 over 100 here and then 1 plus j omega and the denominator term now this is proper form okay now before we proceed uh, let's learn about uh, the quadratic pole if it is at the denominator we know it is called pole so the quadratic pole the magnitude of the quadratic pole will be 20 minus 20 log of the uh, denominator term the so same uh, will be in this case now what is uh, the corner frequency omega n in this case you say this is omega n so corner frequency is 10 radians uh, per second also we convert uh, the phasor form into magnitude and phase angle form so the magnitude of h omega will be h magnitude of 1 over 100 will remain same we take magnitude of 1 plus j omega and magnitude of the uh, denominator term then to convert it into decibel we take 20 log so h db is 20 log of 1 over 100 then the multiply will now become plus in case of a log so it will be 20 log 1 plus j omega and the numerator uh, denominator term will be with negative signs so negative 20 log of the denominator so this is the uh, magnitude term we have to plot this now coming on to the phase angle keep in mind this uh, thing that the phase angle in case of x plus j y is tangent inverse y over x y is the imaginary term divided by x and if it is in the denominator then there will be a negative sign so in our case the uh, uh, the pole will arrange it first of all uh, in real terms and imaginary terms that means we bring this term near to this and this on the right hand side and when we bring j omega square then j square is minus one therefore this will be minus sign negative sign so this is the real term and this is the imaginary term and now we can write that the phase angle is minus tangent inverse the imaginary term this one divided by the real term so this is for the quadratic pole only but we have other terms also so for these also we'll have to write the 
Pezangan. Uh, to apply this this rule, we have just rearranged this. We have collected the real terms, and this is the imaginary term. So now the phase angle for uh, one over hundred, the angle is zero. For one plus j omega, using this formula, it is plus tangent inverse omega over one omega divided by one. So there is no need of writing one. And then for the denominator term, we are just following this minus tangent inverse the imaginary term. This is the imaginary term divided by the real term. So now we have got both magnitude and phase angle. I will plot uh, these separately. First of all, the magnitude plot. We take a logarithmic scale uh, uh, graph paper and we mark the horizontal axis uh, in a logarith logarithmic form 0 0.1, then 10 times 1, then 10 times 10, then 10 times 100. But the vertical axis, we just keep it uh, linear. So 0, 20, 40, 0, minus 20, minus 40, minus 60, etc. The first plot is 20 log 1 over 100. If you use your calculator to find value, it will be minus 40 dB. So we draw a line here, first of all. So minus 40 line we have drawn for the first one. Now the second term, uh, we have already learned, but I'll just repeat how to plot the magnitude. So this is the technique that we find the corner frequency g omega divided by whatever is the corner frequency. In our case, g omega divided by 1. So 1 is the corner frequency. So corner frequency, and then we draw a slope of 20 dB per decade. So we start from here. Before this, it will be 0. And after this, we just go to 9, uh, 20 dB per decade. So this is one decade. This is 20 dB, so we, we go like this, and we can extend the line all the way, as shown here. So this is our plot of 20 log, 1 plus j omega. This line we can extend all the way. Now, finally, the uh, quadratic term. The quadratic term has the radiant frequency uh, of 10, so we this is the point where we will uh, draw uh, or before this will be zero and after this we'll plot the curve so let's see what is the formula for this so for the quadratic the drop is now 40 db not 20 db 40 db per decade starting from the corner frequency so our corner frequency this we will drop it 40 db per decade just like shown here so the drop is 40 dB per decade, and before this it is zero. So this our uh, uh, plot is complete. Now we'll uh, add all three curves to get the final result. And I have uh, found a very easy technique. Okay, now that we have drawn all the three curves, we'll be adding and uh, I'll be following a very simple technique where you don't have to do the graph addition. Actually, it will be like a mathematical addition. So for that, we start, keep this point in mind, and add only where changes is taking place. So first of all, let's start from the zero point. And so the this line has a value zero, and this is minus 40. So adding it will be 0 minus 40, the answer is minus 40. Then this is the place where the first change is taking place. So here also the magnitude is up to this point is 0 and this is minus 40. So this will also be uh, minus 40, 0 minus 40 equals minus 40. Next change is taking place here and we have positive 20, then we have 0 and we have minus 40. So 20 plus 0 minus 40, so minus 20. 
and then next change is taking place at this point. Now, if we extend this curve, this will touch 40, plus 40. So we'll start from here, plus 40. Then we have minus 40 for this graph and minus 40 for this graph. So plus 40, minus 40, minus 40, that will be minus 40. So these are the values that we will be plotting. So the first thing we'll do is we start from minus 40 and we go to minus 40. So we have drawn a red line here. The next step is from minus 40, we go to minus 20. So this is minus 20. So we have to go up like this as shown here. We're going up to minus 20. And what is the next step? from minus 20 to minus 40. So again, we come down to minus 40, so minus 20 to minus 40. And then so this line is extending all the way. We can also extend our line, same slope, no change. And so it will be like shown here. So this is our final answer. And if we compare our answer with the answer given in the book, you will see that they are uh, exactly same. We're starting from minus 40, minus 40. This point is 1, our is 0.1. And then changing at 10, and then culminating at 100. So all the same. And the book answer is also similar to what we have got. Okay, so this was the magnitude plot. Now let's see the phase plot. Uh, this is what we have to plot. The uh, first is zero line, so we just draw a zero. Then for tangent inverse omega or one plus j omega, we have learned that we first of all select the corner frequency, which in our case is uh, j omega over one, omega over one. So this is our corner frequency. Now we have to go one tenth below and 10 times up to draw a 90 degree slope line. So one tenth below is this point and 10 times is this point. So from here to 90 degree, we'll connect the line. And after that, we'll have a straight 90 degree line. So it will be something like this. We drew the uh, 90 slope line and then this straight 90 degree line. So this was for this. Now for the uh, pole pole part, uh, the since there is a square, so the down slope will be double. That means we'll have to go to minus 80. Uh, this portion remains same. Find the corner frequency, which is 10 in our case. So this is the corner frequency. We go one tenth down, so this is one, and ten times down, so this. So from here, we have to draw a 180 degree line. And then straight, and from here also it is zero line. So it will be something like this, 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 and this. So now we have drawn the uh, uh, all the three uh, pole angles. And here also we will follow the same technique mathematically as and then plot. So the first point here, zero and minus one, uh, sorry, zero and zero will be zero. At this point, zero and 45 degree, or 45 and zero. So 45 plus zero is 45. Then next decade here, it is 90. This is also 90 and zero. So. 90, 0, minus 90, equal to 0. Then we come to this point, plus 90, 0, and minus 180. So plus 90, 0, minus 180 is minus 90. And uh, further, it will be same, actually, because this is plus 90, 0, minus 180. So it will be minus 90, and this will continue. Okay, now that we have got mathematically, very easy to plot now. We starting from zero, the next target is 45 degrees. So we go 
45 degree. What is the next? We have to go to zero. That means we have to come down like this to zero. So we came down to zero, then minus 90. So from here, this is minus 90 line. So we have to go to the minus 90, so connected minus 90. And then again, minus 90. So this is minus 90 line. So this will continue. So continue and you can extend it further. So this is our final uh, phase angle plot. And the book answer is also similar. So I hope uh, you have been able to follow this. Uh, please uh, 